There seems to be a lot of speculation going around the internet about what this sting button on the ATEM Mini Extreme is actually supposed to do. Right now it doesn't do anything. You press it, it does absolutely nothing. What I'm going to show you here today is what the stinger feature that Blackmagic has on some of their other switcher actually does. And then I'm going to show you the ATEM Mini Extreme doing the same thing, although in a different way and requiring some extra hardware. Hey everyone, my name is Doug. I run a video production company out of Orem, Utah. We produce videos for clients of all sorts, uh, live events mostly. These days, an awful lot of virtual events as well. Uh, I run in my, in my production trailer here, I run a 2ME Production Studio 4K switcher. That's my primary switcher. And it has that stinger feature. And so, I'm going to show you what that actually does. So if I'm going to go, go ahead and press a couple buttons here. There you go. That is the stinger. It's a, basically a transition. I'll do it again. It's a transition where you have a graphic that overlays a cut or actually technically a dissolve underneath. And so you're able to cover the transition between two clips using a graphic. Um, so yeah, it's a kind of a cool way to add a little bit additional excitement to a video. Although I would advise using this with a little bit of caution. It's not the sort of thing that you should be using for every transition. It should be used sparingly. It is a little bit jarring. It can be a little bit tacky. So be careful if you're going to use this. Uh, you don't want to use it a lot. It's, it can be very tiresome very quickly. But anyway, with that said, you can emulate this on A10 Mini Extreme today if you have a way of playing back video. Why does this not actually do this today? Well, the main reason is this doesn't have a way of playing back video clips. And if we take a look at ATEM software control, I'm connected to my ATEM Mini Extreme here. If I go over to the media tab, you should see that it only shows 20 slots for still images. There's nothing here for video clips. But if I connect to my 2ME switcher instead, I'll switch over there. You can see that up top here, there are actually two slots for video clips. Actually, it's more, more accurately, I should be saying that it's a series of still images. You can't load, say, a QuickTime file in here. It has to be a series of still images. But the device, the switcher itself, can actually play back those clips. And you can use that as part of the transition. And when I do these transitions, that's exactly what it's doing. It's actually playing those, uh, that file, those sequences of images, out of its own internal store. So the one you just saw there is stored in clip one. And with a few clicks, I can actually change that. Stinger will go to player one instead. And this, I know that this other one wants to be transitioned frame 35. And so if I click that, there you go. You can see a, a different one. So we can have two of them loaded in at any given time. There are some limitations, though. Uh, the switcher, when it only can store so many frames. The, the frame store is not that large. So when I'm running in 4K like I presently am, there's a total of 180 frames that can be allocated for, these, for doing these ima image sequences. And I've got it currently divided up equally, so 90 frames each for clip 1 and for clip 2. I'm not using all of them, but that's, that would be the maximum. So if I'm running at 30 frames per second, that means that each one of those is going to be a maximum of 3 seconds. So, but yeah, that's, the, that's really the difference between the, the higher end switchers and an ATEM Mini Extreme. The ATEM Mini Extreme does not have that, that clip feature. So, so it's not able to do this stinger feature, at least not on its own. With a little help from another piece of equipment, we can actually make it do this. If I switch over to my ATEM Mini Extreme, I've got a macro recorded here. And you can actually see it doing this. So watch, watch the screen. In fact, I'll actually take it program. So the big window there is the output of my A10 Mini Extreme. I'm going to click on this macro. There it is. You can see the A10 Mini Extreme doing the exact same thing that you just saw my 2ME Production Studio do. So I'm not going to go into the details of how to do that in this video. I'm going to save that for a separate video that's fully instructional, not just so much doing a demonstration of what the feature is. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you click on the, the card that's popping up here or click on the link in the video description down below in order to see how this is done on an A10 Mini Extreme. I'm also going to demonstrate how to do something that's a little more sophisticated. It's called a double alpha wipe. And something that, that not even the 2ME Production Studio, 4ME Broadcast Studio, or Constellation can do wholly on their own automatically they need a little additional help from some macros and some additional video playback here but it's very very cool and something that you're going to want to see so 
So yeah, so we'll go ahead and click on over to that other video and I'll show you how to do all of this. So for anybody else who's just watching and wanted to see this demonstrated, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on another video.